recent video about Jesus being God, I received a comment that I want to share with you guys and then I also give a response to this comment. The comment says, funny how the Apostle Paul referred to Jesus as the Son of God. Peter, James, and John had no problem with his teachings. Come on, man. We know God was in Christ. And because you say funny how the Apostle Paul or the others referred to him as the Son of God, with that same thought, I want to also say to you, funny how you don't seem to know what the Son of God means. Funny how you don't know, but the Jews seem to know. You know, in John 10, 31, when Jesus says, why do you want to stone me? And they say, because you, a man, call yourself God. The same person who was calling himself the Son of God and the Son of Man. How do they understand it? Funny how they knew what he was speaking of. Funny how the Jews knew that Jesus was saying that he was God. Funny how they knew that, but funny how you don't know that. Funny how in Hebrews 1, God calls Jesus God. He calls the Son God. God. But how could that be? There can be no other gods. God himself said you can have no other gods. Is he going against himself? Funny how he calls him God and knows he's God and it doesn't violate anything. Funny how you don't know that. Funny how Thomas, you know, the apostle Thomas calls him God and Jesus doesn't correct him. Just like when the Jews accuse him of calling himself God, he didn't correct them. Funny how Jesus is fine with being called God. Also funny about Paul, funny how he says that you must call on Jesus as the Lord, you know, the same as Moses calls him the Lord, the same Moses who in Deuteronomy 4, 35, 39 says that the Lord is God. Funny how you don't know that the Lord is God. Funny how you don't equate that Jesus being the Lord and the Lord is God. Funny how you don't make that connection. Funny how the angel of the Lord in the Old Testament is God. Funny how people like Hagar, people like Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, people like Joshua, people like Gideon. Funny how they call the angel of the Lord God. And when Moses sees the burning bush, the Bible says it was the angel of the Lord who called from the midst of the bush. The angel of the Lord, the Lord God. Funny how everyone understands that the angel of the Lord is God. Everyone but you. Funny how God himself says there's only one Lord and Savior. Who is the Savior? Well, who is the Savior? Well, in Isaiah 43, 11, God says he's the Savior. Funny how God says that I am the Lord, that is my name. In Isaiah 42, 8. Funny how you don't make the connection between God being the Lord and Jesus being the Lord. Funny how God says that he will not share or give his glory with anyone, but he does to Jesus. Isn't that funny how Jesus would be blasphemous for asking for the glory and for claiming the glory and, and receiving glory if he's not God? Isn't that funny? There's only one Lord and one Savior. And funny how the Bible says that at the name of God, every knee shall bow. But wait a minute. Isn't it funny that the Bible says the same thing about Jesus. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and tongue confess. Funny how in Isaiah 44, 6, that God is the first and the last. But then in Revelations, it's also interesting that Jesus is the first and the last. That's kind of funny, huh? In Exodus 34, 14, it's funny how only God can receive worship. However, interestingly enough, funny enough, Jesus receives worship. Funny how you miss all of this relating Jesus as being God. That's funny. However, what's not so funny is that if you do not see that he is the I am, if you do not see that he is the Lord, if you do not see that Jesus is God, according to Jesus' own words, what's not so funny, he says in John 8, 24, that you will die in your sins. That's not so funny.